Hey guys, it's Jean-Claude, and today's deck opening is going to be for Joker41, so be sure to wish him luck in the comments down below. Let's see some good houses. Let's see some great cards. I know he's been asking for Sanctum because he wants the leader. Gray Archon. Logos is the first house. Second house is Star Alliance. And the third house is Dis. AG Darla Plant of the Chilling Market. And it's got like a scythe almost for a hand over here. And on this side, it looks like another sort of weapon. Like there's a hook. Got the lightning all around it. Let's see what this thing has. All right. Oh, let's slide that up some. And we are starting off with Star Alliance. It's, oh, it's Z Emitter. If you guys haven't seen this yet, there's a creature that there's three upgrades that will always come with it. We'll get to it after the three upgrades here. So this upgrade, Amber Ivy Plate, enhanced with the draw pip. At the start of your turn, ward this creature. Z-Ray Blaster, it's an upgrade. Amber Ivy Plate with the capture pip. This creature gets plus three power and gains before the fight. Deal three damage to each neighbor of the creature. This creature fights. Very good card. Z Particle Tracker, it's an upgrade. Amber Ivy Plate. This creature gains fight. Search your deck for an upgrade and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Very, very good. And they all want to go on one particular card, which is Z Force Agent 14. Five power, fight. Gain one amber for each upgrade on Z Force Agent 14. So this is a really big building card. A Voltron, if you will. You want to try and get as many upgrades as you can on this thing. Fight with it. Protect it in different ways. None of these are adding amber, but the ward right here from the emitter is going to be pretty nice. Let's hope for some more upgrades, I guess. Lay of the land, Amber Ivy Plate. Look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Draw a card. Great card there. Survey, Amber Ivy Plate. Enhance the draw pip. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Discard one of them. Sensor Chief Garcia's three power. Play, fight, reap. Keys cost plus two Amber during your opponent's next turn. Very nice. Security Droid. Oh, here's an upgrade. Four power taunt. Maybe play it as an upgrade instead of a creature with the text, this creature gains taunt. Scout Pete is four power. Play, fight, reap. Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard that card. Observe you, Max. It's an upgrade. Amber Ivy Plate. This creature gains fight, reap, capture, and amber. This is what we're talking about. This is the fifth upgrade in here. Come on. Ooh, access denied. It's an upgrade. Amber Ivy Plate. This creature cannot reap. So typically, we don't want to put this on our creatures, but in a Z deck, this could work. Another access denied. Interesting. Now we're on to Logos. It's Odd Clawed. Five power action. If your opponent has an odd amount of amber, you get to steal one. Positron Bolt, Amber Ivy Plate, deal three damage to a flank creature, deal two damage to its neighbor, and one damage to the second creature's other neighbor. Novu Dynamo, eight power, two armor. At the start of your turn, you may discard a Logos card from your hand or archives. If you do, gain an Amber. Otherwise, you destroy Novu Dynamo. Forge Compiler, it's an artifact. After your opponent forges a key, destroy Forge Compiler and ward each friendly creature. Standardized testing, destroy each creature with the lowest power and each creature with the highest power. Quixo the Adventurer with a draw pip, three power skirmish, fight, draw a card. Qmex, one power, play, draw a card, destroyed, archive Qmex. Too bad that draw pip did not hit this Qmex. That could have really taken this up a notch. Letho Logica, Amber Ivy Play, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Logos card or run out of cards. If you discard a Logos card this way, put it into your hand. Info more, four power, enhance two draw pips. Even Ivan, four power, action. If your opponent has an even amount of Amber, steal one. Goes great with the Odd Clawed. Always allows you to steal two Amber every turn if they're both out and ready. Diametric Charge, Amber Ivy Play. Deal one damage to a creature with a two damage splash. Oh, Auto Encoder. It's an artifact. After a card is discarded from your hand, archive the top card of your deck. This is pretty good considering we have the Novu Dynamo. Uh, we didn't really have anything else to go with it, but sometimes it's better to just discard cards. Like, for example, that standardized testing earlier. There are times where you just want to discard it because you don't want to be the one that loses the creature. So, Auto Encoder is very nice for that. Now we're on to Dis Dino Fiend for power. Play. You may exalt it. If you do, deal three damage to a creature. Destroyed. Steal an Amber. I don't know what most of you all think about this play effect here, but I am a big fan of it. I think this exalt and having the potential to get rid of one of your opponent's really annoying creatures is just really, really powerful. Harvest time. Choose a trait. Purge each card with that trait. Each player gains one amber for each card they control that was purged this way. Remember, that can work for artifacts as well. Ooh, Grim Reminder. Choose a house. Archive each creature of that house from your discard pile. Gain one chain. Very good card. Hmm... We did have the Novu Dynamo, so that could allow us to always have Logos cards in there for that. Very cool. Waking Nightmare, Amber Ivy Plate, enhance the Capture Pip. Keys cost plus one Amber for each disc creature in play during your opponent's next turn. Stirring Grave, Amber Ivy Plate, archive a creature from your discard pile. Man, this is the deck that should have had the Archivist in it. Am I right or am I right? 
Mind Fire, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Steal one amber for each bonus icon on the discarded card. Implosion, amber heavy play it, destroy a friendly creature and an enemy creature. The only destroyed effect I can think of is that Dino Fiend, but still nice. Oh, another implosion. Give us another destroyed effect then. Drekker with the draw pip for power. Damage dealt to Drekker's neighbors during fights is also dealt to Drekker. Reap, steal an amber, great card. Dominator Bobble, it's an artifact. Action, use a friendly creature. Another Dominator Bobble, that's good. And the final card of the deck is a Bonesaw, 5 power. If a friendly creature was destroyed this turn, Bonesaw enters play ready. Well, I guess there's a little perk there then with the implosions because it does increase the odds of having it on the same turn. You have a Bonesaw in your hand, so it can enter play ready whether you want to fight with it or reap with it. Let's get the Amber up. Okay, we could probably pull up Mind Fire, especially if we're going up against MM. Good shot of that. Harvest time for sure. Fiend, let's throw it up there. I like the odds of us getting the amber from it every single time. Lethal Logica, yes. Okay, Locos was a little bit lighter, but then again, it did have Odd Claude and even Ivan, which is kind of more valuable than typical amber because you're taking it from your opponent as well. Okay, let's see what that count is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, we'll call that 13 to be on the safe side. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow. You know what? It's actually better than that because of this Z-Force Agent 14. I'm expecting this deck to typically get more than 18 Amber on a cycle because of all the upgrades. And these upgrades also have Amber on them, putting it on there, then immediately fighting. It's like doubling the Amber of each one of these upgrades. That's pretty nice. And it's also going to be a high priority target for our opponents to get rid of. Let's look at the Amber control now. Okay, observe you, Max. Oh, you know, we got to put up those access denied just in case that Z fighter is at the bottom of our deck or has already been destroyed. Okay, you got the steel there. Waking Nightmare will help us out. Mind Fire, of course. Drekker. We'll pull up even Ivan and Odd Claude because they're pretty good. And the uh, Garcia. Okay, the count for that is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cards, not too bad, considering the house is here. All right, let's count up the creatures. Not exactly remembering what the count is, but looking at all these actions and artifacts here is making me think this is going to be, I'm hoping close to average, but I don't think we'll hit average. Oh boy, but you know what? This deck does have more amber than the last deck, so that's at least something going for it. So for the creatures, one, five, ten. Oh my gosh, 13, is that right? Let's quickly look at that again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How did we end up with less creatures? I cannot believe this. That means all of our opponent's actions is going to be more likely to hit something like the Z Fighter. That is a shame. It does hurt these cards like the Dominator Bobble and the Grim Reminder. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, well, let's see. So for board control, man, I guess it's going to be the bigger creatures. The Z Fighter, the Novu Dynamo are going to have their work cut out for them. Some of these actions like the Bolt, Diametric Charge, take care of the small ones. The Implosions are going to be pretty important in here. And standardized testing, as long as we don't have the Novu out, will hopefully hit our opponent's biggest creature, especially with something like a Saurian where they're trying to capture a lot of Amber to take it away from us. That's going to be a good card. This is a little bit of a shame, but the thing that this deck does have going for it, it does have a decent amount of Amber control. Some of those are attached like the upgrades. Well, really only one that we're going to put on our creature, so that's not too big of a deal. That's going to make something like this Auto Encoder a much more important card in this deck because we're going to want to cycle as often as possible and actually get as much Amber as we can every single turn. We're going to have to turn this into a racing game. What I mean by that is this. A good game plan with this deck is going to be whenever, let's say we have this, we have, I don't know, two creatures. Well, you know, these are not actions that will be fair. Let's not count those. Actually, let's look like the Dominator Bobbles. So let's say we're going to a disc turn, and this is what we have in our hand. We got two Dominator Bobbles and a Bone Saw. I'm suggesting first off that we always try and mulligan for the auto encoder because of how important it's going to be. I think you should be willing to just discard all three of these cards to archive three random cards from the top so that on future turns you have access to more cards from the same house, increasing your odds of having some of those board controlling cards and more Amber Pips at the same time. I think that's just going to be the best way to do this. There might even be an opportunity to just try and archive all the creatures we can 
and not pick up our archives, maybe not using the autocoder as much, and try and cycle through the deck just getting a bunch of amber from our actions. Maybe keep a few particular ones like maybe the Dino Fiend and the Garcia, but be aggressive with like the Grim Reminder. Just get rid of all of these creatures that you can. Maybe just get rid of the Starline's House, which is kind of weird to think about, considering we had some pretty good upgrades along with that Z Fighter. But then again, actually, as I'm looking back through it, there wasn't many Star Alliance creatures, so that may not be the way to do it. How about instead archive all the Logos cards, get them out of there, and at the same time, even though two of those are amber control, that makes it a little bit rough, but still, I think this might be the right move. Use the Grim Reminder, get rid of them. Even QMAX helps itself get into the archives as well. Yeah. I think you're just going to have to play this as a speed rush deck, and hopefully that autoencoder comes out fast. All right, Joker41. Well, we didn't hit Sanctum. Had a lot of weird stuff going on there. I think this is the lowest creature count we have opened up on the channel in quite a while, guys. Pretty sure it was before Worlds Collide we had something this low. Actually, there might have been one in Worlds Collide that was this low. A very, very rare occurrence nowadays. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.